So you guys want to learn how to create this muffled audio effect inside of After Effects. Well, it's actually super easy. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is go up to your effects and presets and search up bass and treble and just drag that onto your song or audio. And I'm just going to go to a part in the audio where I want to start the muffled effects. So I'm just going to go right here and let's just go up to the bass and treble and hit a keyframe for the bass at zero and a keyframe for the treble at zero. And now if we hit U on our keyboard, it will bring up the two keyframes for our bass and treble effect here. So now I'm just going to move over three frames. One, two, three. And we're going to go to the bass and treble effect and bring the bass all the way up to 100 and the treble down to negative 100. So now if we play this back, you're going to hear the muffled effect. And now to bring the audio back up to where it was originally at, you just want to go over here and hit the keyframes for both of those and then go three frames over again. One, two, three, and then just bring these back up to zero. So now when we play that back, you can hear what that sounds like. And there we go. That's pretty much how you do this bass treble effect. It's a super simple effect, but I really like how it sounds and it can really add a lot to your edit. Now, if you want the muffled effect to be even more muffled, what you can do is go up to your bass and treble, right click it and hit duplicate. So now you're going to have two other bass and treble effects on that one audio. As you can hear, it's super muffled. So what you can do is keyframe the audio levels here by hitting L on your keyboard. It will bring up the audio levels. So we're just going to hit an audio level right there on the keyframe. Go three frames over, bring that down to like, let's do a negative 12. And I just line those up with my other bass and treble keyframes. And then we just want to go over to the end of those keyframes and then add a keyframe for the audio levels and then go back here and bring that back up to the original decibels. So now when we play this back, you can hear what it sounds like. So yeah, that sounds a lot better than what it was like before. So yeah, messing with the audio levels can really help with this effect. Hopefully this quick tutorial was helpful for you guys. If so, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.